Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac. Ooh, ooh. I said cognac. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm your bubbly blonde. Fabulously drunk. and we're standing right on the blue carpet. Tell my audience how you found out about this organization. You know, I have gone through, um, as a child, I experienced domestic abuse, just like through my, my stepdad and my mother, and a ter terrible ordeal. And I, I started on The Bachelor and The Bachelor Pad, and when I came back uh, from L.A. to New York, I wanted to really, you know, I, I found that my, my, my experience had really helped other children who have parents, you know, who are, you know, have these same situations, you know, the fact that I was able to break out of that lifestyle, it really encouraged other people. And so now I, you know, I'm really holding on to that. And every organization that's really supporting women and children who are sufferers from these types of issues, I, I want to support these organizations. So I found this organization, and Andrea Charles is amazing, and it's so great to work Isn't with her. Isn't she fabulous? She truly is. She's so amazing. And it's such a heart, it's such, such a giving heart that she has to have this whole organization and to help these women, you know, persevere. Absolutely, absolutely. You're right. Persevere. And there's so many women that are stricken with this. It's not, it doesn't matter if you're poor or rich. It really right. doesn't matter. Rich women go through this too. There's domestic violence even with very wealthy women yeah. as well. Yeah, absolutely. And you wouldn't think that, but right. there is. Right, absolutely. And the sad thing is, is that sometimes women feel the need to hide it because they feel ashamed or embarrassed. And the unfortunate part is that then their offspring, the little, little girls, feel the same way. And the great thing about organizations like this is that it's not about being embarrassed or having to hide it. It's about finding your inner beauty and going out and fighting and becoming a leader of yourself and of your own world. It's wonderful. Tell my audience what's going on with you. What are you working on right now? Besides being on The Bachelor, of course. <laughs> well, since I've come home from L.A. from filming The Bachelor and The Bachelor Pad, I, I'm a nurse. I work at uh, the number one hospital in New York State, Columbia Presbyterian. But I also, I host and I model, and I really find it fun to do both. It's, it's, very, it's very rewarding to be able to bring babies into the world one day and then the next day come here and help survivors. And be glamorous yeah. and help and support yeah. people. Absolutely. That's why I do it, too. Yeah, I mean, not every day you get to throw some heels on, especially as a nurse. So, hey, That's I, right. I take advantage. <laughs> well, you're a beautiful host. Thank you. You're Thank gorgeous. You <laughs> Tell my audience where we could go to find out more information about giving is glamorous. Where can we support? Where can we donate? Well, you can go to City Girl Beauty Project. You can Google that. You can also Google Andrea Charles. And, um, and another place that you can go is uh, it says City Girl Beauty Project already. So giving is glamorous. Did I mention giving is glamorous? Yes. And what about you? Can we follow you? Do you have a Absolutely. website? Tell yeah. my audience. <laughs> I would love to have you follow me at, at Jamie Otis at JamieOtis.com, Jamie N. Otis on Twitter, and Jamie N. Otis on Facebook. Well, you're gorgeous, and thank you so much thank for that you. wonderful work. Absolutely. Very nice to interview. Thank you so much. <laughs> and we'll be back in a moment, dollies. More interviews, more celebrities right here on the blue carpet. Pink champagne kisses. <laughs>
this evening it's all about the city project it's all about giving is glamorous and I am here with this wonderful femme fatale who is all knows all about this organization she helped founded this organization and she's going to introduce herself to the camera hello good evening my name is Andrea CEO and founder of City Girl Beauty Project I am so excited to be here tonight to have such a beautiful event on my back I feel so grateful. I love working with women who are survivors of domestic violence in my everyday life as a makeup artist. So I take this and turn it into giving is glamorous. And it certainly is. Giving is very, very glamorous. Okay. And I want my audience to know that. Now this event, is this your second, your third, your fourth annual charity event? Do you believe this is my second? Second. I went to the first and I was mesmerized by it. I had so much. I enjoyed it immensely. I thought that it was so, so supportive of these wonderful women that are really courageous women. They're really heroines yes. that they are surviving domestic violence. But it's also about human trafficking. Could you yes. tell my audience about that? Could you explain to my audience what that is? Human trafficking, we work with young girls from 18 to 30 who are survivors, who are fighters, and um, survive the human trafficking. And um, we ha really have to work on that. There are too many young girls out there who have been abused and we need to step forward and help these young girls to get out. Thank you so much. Now tell my audience about this event this evening. What can we expect of this wonderful event? T tonight we are launching a fundraising um, charity event to raise funds for the beauty workshop which is going to be taking place in September of 2013. Oh that's wonderful. Yes, thank you. If we want to support, if we want to contribute, and if we want to donate, where can we go? What is the website? To donate, you can go to www.citygirlbeautyproject.org or www.givingisglamorous.org. I love it. Giving is glamorous. And we'll be back in a moment, darling, with more interviews and more celebrities right here on the blue carpet. Pink champagne kisses. Hey, good work today. Good morning.
Here. How is he today? Your leading man? Oh, gentle heart, please. How did it feel? Did it feel real? It's my job. Sorry, we didn't agree to that. That wasn't in the script. Oh. <laughs> Please, I didn't agree to this. I'm Cognac Willa Lane, and I'm here with one of the sponsors of Giving is Glamorous. Introduce yourself to the camera. Sure. My name is Chiama Valcourt. I'm a owner of Next Vanity, so we've sponsored because we think that this is a wonderful, wonderful organization and event. Now, how are you introduced to this organization? Um, I have worked with Andrea Charles, one of the founders, and I, she's also a client. So I've, I've worked with her on, on two different levels, two separate levels. Now tell my audience a little bit about your company. What does it do exactly? Um, we are a salon first. We're a salon, so obviously we supply all types of beauty. Beauty. Services. Correct. Fabulous. Yes, we also do um, wigs and extensions, um, especially and in particularly for um, cancer patients, oh, yeah. patients, etc. Yeah. So, um, you know, we, we deal a lot so with hair loss. And you make, medical. and you want make women to be beautiful and glamorous. And, and giving is glamorous is what it's all about, and that's why you're here supporting me. Yes. Wonderful. Tell my audience your website. It's nextvanity.com. Fantastic. Jill, are you on Facebook too? Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. We'll be back in a moment, dollies, with more interviews right here on the blue carpet. Keep watching, giving us glamorous pink champagne kisses. Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. dressed to impress one of a kind girl. This has been a crybaby productions, darlings.